Yorkshire. I would uh, make my own baked meat products, you know, using okay. gluten. I would actually uh, make my own vegetable stocks, like a, like a concentrated vegetable stocks, because okay. obviously when you cook meat and fish, you know, you get a lot of flavour from the meat and the fish. So with vegan cuisine, you have to kind of make your own flavours. It's a lot of oils, a lot of um, stocks and stuff. Um, so I, would, I used to make my own vegetable stocks, and um, I would reduce it down to make like a thick vegetable uh, syrup. And you can actually get hold of like uh, vegan vegan beef stock and vegan chicken stock. So I would add cubes of vegan beef stock and chicken stock uh, to the flavouring. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of uh, wheat gluten, it's uh, yeah. the gluten from the flour. So, yeah. um, I used to make uh, wheat meat, as we call it. Um, you'd mix the, uh, you'd add some flavourings like some soy, some honey, uh, not honey, sorry, some ginger, um, you know, and other flavourings. And then um, add your concentrated beef stock or your, um, your, your vegan chicken stock. And you make like a dough, and then um, we'd, we'd cut it into portions and, and boil it. And then you've kind of got like the consistency. You got like a piece of meat that's like that's the consistency, and it has the, um, the flavour of actual meat. And um, from that, I'd make things like lasagna and chilies. I'd make my own homemade burgers. So for for an average for an average say week on the ship, what would be a main meal, for example, like a main evening meal, for example, that you might have? I mean, have? I'd come up with a huge amount of ideas. Like from the from the wheat gluten, I'd come up with like lasagnas and chilies and burgers, just like a a normal meal but um, you're just using the wheat meats which is great because it's it's 90% protein and it's zero fat content so it's okay. kind of like eating the meat <laughs> but um, not getting into the bad side to it but then I'd also use things like tofu like I'd uh, marinate the tofu in some some Thai green curry paste but I'd like a Thai green tofu curry okay. um, I used to make my own uh, chorizo my vegan chorizo sausages like chorizo and tofu paella um, other things like lentils like a nice lentil shepherd's pie um, uh, what, what is it like being um, staying healthy on board a ship for a long time? I mean, you know, and historically the you know, scurvy and the fresh limes and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What is it like these days for being for being being vegan and staying well with uh, fresh fruits and vegetables? Like, how do things like that go? The, the biggest problem I have is I'm on the Bob Barker and we can spend 95 days at sea. So as you can imagine, we run out of fresh produce. Yes. We're at sea for 95 days, so things like tomatoes and um, salads and fresh produce goes within two weeks. Things like um, like you know, your root vegetables like carrots and pumpkins and things like that, they, they can last for another month on top of that. So after that, it's pretty much two months of like dried, frozen, um, dehydrated or tin, tin food, basically. So what I've been getting into is sprouting. Um, I've been doing sprouting at sea. Things like mung beans and um, chickpeas and lentils and any kind of nuts and seed, legumes. Um, you can sprout, basically. And when you do sprouting, you you can actually uh, multiply the uh, nutrients by up to 20 times. Oh. So it's, it's, I mean, eating raw food is good for you, but eating food that's still alive, but that's 100 times better. So, you know, you eat sprouts every day and you, you live to 100, so <laughs> that's really good for being at sea, you know, and that's really good to keep fit and healthy to eating sprouts. So that's my way of kind of tackling the whole, the whole health. Well, thank you very much for your time, Roger. Yeah, no worries. It's been a pleasure.